Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to look at substring and index of in C Sharp. And you can also use this in Visual Basic, I believe. Um, but we're going to do this in C Sharp. We're going to see how those two methods actually can be used together to hopefully get the result that, that you require. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you, or walk through rather, an example, and then we can kind of just talk about it as we go. I think that'll make more sense. Um, so we're going to create a string. We're going to call it, if I can spell, sent. Wow. And it's going to say something like the dog went went that way. Wow. And what we're going to do is we're going to just get a part of this whole string. Let's say we just want to retrieve the dog. We only want to get that. But the sentence is, the dog went that way. How do we go about getting a part of a string? Well, we actually use a method called substring. Or like a subset is a part of a set. A substring is part of a string. And for example, I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to do console.writeLine uh, sentence. And then you go ahead and do dot substring. If we start opening the parentheses here, you can see we need two parameters to pass. We need the start index and the length. So the start index, each character of the string has an index. The t is 0, h is 1, uh, the e is 2, and so on and so forth. Space is 3. We still count spaces as characters. Um, and then the second one is the length. So if I start at 0, and I go all the way 7 in length, so 1, 2, 3, 4, you count the space, 5, 6, 7, g is number 7 we should get the dog and nothing more. Just to prove that, I'll go ahead and uh, write it out for you guys. We'll put read so we have the availability to read it before it disappears. There we go, the dog. Pretty neat. So if I changed this substring method to one, you'll see nothing changed. You'll say, well, why is that? Oh, actually, no. Something did change. I'm sorry. Um, the the T is disappearing, but there's nothing at the end, right? We shift it over, but there's nothing going on. That's because there's a space right here. That's counting that space. We don't see it. It's here. We just don't see it. But T disappeared because the start index is now 1. And if we change this to 8, whoops, I guess I got to stop the code. If we change this to 8, we'll see the W appears now. So he dog W. Cool. So, okay. So, let's say I had two sentences. I said the dog went that way. Forgot to end my code again. Period. I think at least. Let's say we only want this part. The dog went that way. What would we do? Well, that's where we use substring and index of. It's a little hard to count all the way, <laughs> all the way to the period, right? So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to start at zero still, because we are going to start from the beginning. We only want this part. And then we're going to do sentence dot index of what this does is it finds the index of a specific character, and it's the first occurrence. So if we do of character period, it'll return the index, whatever index this is. I'm just going to take a wild guess. I know it's not right. 13 or something. I don't know. Maybe it's more than that. 15. Who knows? Um, but it's going to return that. And what it's going to end up doing is it's actually going to cut out the period. So what's going on here? I guess we're missing a parenthesis. Let's add that. Let's go ahead and run it just to show you. So it says the dog went that way. So we didn't get the period in there. So a way to combat this is to just add one. And now if we do this, we get the dog went that way. Pretty cool. And you can do it with whatever else you need. Um, let's say we want the second part of the sentence. I think at least. 
How do we go about doing that? Uh, if you know if you're following along, I would recommend pausing the video, trying this out on your own, and trying to figure it out. And if you have tr uh, trouble, come back and check out how I do it. And if you get it, congratulations. That's pretty awesome, honestly. Because um, this can be tricky at first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. And we're only going to pass in one parameter. It's going to be the start. And what happens is when you only put the start, let's say I put zero and nothing else, it would return the whole string. But I don't want the whole string. I want this part. So I need to find out what index this i is. So if I do the character i, luckily that's, that's the first instance of i, um, we can go ahead and get the whole string. So it's going to start from here now and just until the very end. And the very end ends at least. So if we run this, I guess it would uh I guess it would help if I did sentence dot index of, huh? I completely <laughs> disregarded that. So if we do the character I Whoa, can you guys hear that? It's thundering here. Um if we get the character I, I forgot my parenthesis again. That's gonna grab the index of this I, since it's the first instance of that. And then it's going to get the entire rest of the sentence. So if we hit start, we're going to get, I think, at least. There you go. That's how you can use index of and substring to get parts of the string that you really need. Hope you guys found this informative. Thanks for watching. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more, for sure. And I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully.